I bought a fan the other day, and it wasn't exactly the most expensive. I got the fan home, opened the box, and inside the box were instructions that said, assembly required. Now, I'm not necessarily the most handy person in the world, and I had to try to figure out how to put this fan together. And since it wasn't the most expensive one, it was a little bit tricky. But I realized in order to make that thing work properly, I was going to have to put it together and assemble that thing. And as I thought about that example of assembly required, I couldn't help but think of what God tells us about getting together. God's people are told that they're required to assemble. God tells us very clearly that assembly is required. There's a, an amazing passage in Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, and here's what it says. It says, do not forsake assembling yourselves together, as is the manner of some. You know, if we claim to be a part of the church, God's called out people, we're called out of this world, and we're told to assemble together. Check out your Bible. If you want to go all the way back to Leviticus 23, it tells us back then there is a time that God requires us. He just doesn't say this would be a nice idea, but he says you are required to assemble together. So if that fan was going to work properly for me, I had to put that thing together. I had to assemble it. It was required. You know, if we're going to be put together properly, if we're going to have a right relationship with God, if we're going to have a right, right relationship with other brethren, other people of God, assembly is required. So do that. Do the work. Make sure we come together as God says, because assembly is required. That's BT Daily. We'll see you next time.